to me literally starting directly when I just ended for episode 7, so that's fun. <laughs> now, if you didn't watch, that one decided to, for some reason, skip the entire VNC quest. Don't know why, but if you want to, it's up to you. No judging. From here, it just shows me, well, the very end, figuring out how to take care of everything for accessing the dev room and getting the weapon shard for Korak and the left hand of something. Yes, the left hand of Gulopa. Which makes this... Uh, tongue tied. <laughs> Which you literally just shoot your fingers, well do like a finger gun pose at them. And it actually does a decent amount of damage and each time you shoot them, it applies a different status effect. So, yep. Yeah. If you actually want to know how to uh, apply right, all the goddamn what I keep getting tongue tied and yeah, saying the wrong things. <laughs> if you want to know how to get the cables into the right parts, I suggest you go back to the last video and find out how to do that so you can, yourself can get it. Should be fun for you guys. So I'm going to shut up and finally start this. So I will admit it has been months since my last. Uh, I'm recording this, well, before episode 7, so, yay. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and we shall get on to the video. See you at the end of the, see you at the end. Yeah. Stop being tongue died. Just so you know where the building is compared to the VNC tower. So once you get the safe zone up here, you can glide down to the southwest. It's hard to miss it. There's a little camp, little bandit camp. Ravager. The Ravager, I believe. Renegades. Ugh. Renegade camp right here. That'll help you figure out where it is. So if you're up here, look down there to see it. It's literally right to the left. It's gonna be hard to see. So I'll shut up now. Come on, there we go. <sighs> One thing I should mention is, if you get any like dead weapons, it will cost a lot to rebuild it. So it'll be like 350 scrap, I believe. A few more as I watched the video, so I can't really remember. So I do believe it's like 350 scrap to rebuild the dead weapon to destroy it. I mean, also Cyberpunk, Doom. And yes, there is a weapon specifically. I like referenced in Cyberpunk 2077. Basically, very tiny Maxis blades. <laughs> and if you've seen my Cyberpunk 2077 video, you would know exactly which one I'm talking about. Me. Uh, hey, that was excuse cool. me? Not you, the bee. Just calm oh, down. Sting, there Jen. are a lot of them. But I am okay, prepared. How the hell am I going to get up there? What's that? Ointment. <laughs> <laughs>
See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Hmm. It's a cozy place. A guy's boots? Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Our mixtape. Hmm. <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know. Almost, almost happy. <sighs> Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is.
vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? How you doing, buddy? your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. 
Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I'm... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See whatness? <laughs> There, look, the swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks Within his bending sickle's compass come Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks Just words, huh? Yeah Just words So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward.
Hakon a coward? That's hard to believe. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's just a traitor. He talked others out of coming to the TV station, too. They left Frank and his team on their own. Then he cut me off, like he never even knew me. And then he fucked off to Waltz. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. It's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter and now you go radio silent. City, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? Huh? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Jari place. You get it? That's why we have to find that pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable and you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. 
Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old Nightrunners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Biddy's hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. How you doing, buddy? Frank? That's, uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Get the guys and head east. Walls in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. 
There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. tends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all offices. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Turn of the night runners. I wonder what will come of it. Come in here when I you.
was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! Hope Marway has time to say goodbye to you. Either I die, or you're that. I'm going to break the After your death, we would invite you to join us, but... Let's <laughs> go. 
Aiden. You all right? I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Velidor? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's... a long story. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan, too. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you, too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Ugh! <sighs> 
Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. David? Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! Ah! <laughs> 
Make quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> You're making me so Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. 
I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time. Right, Hakon. Killian, Frank, Luan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first.
taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? Uh, I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. It's your choice, Luan. Do what you need to do. That's what I'm talking about. That one. And what I need to do is. Please. Ah! Oh, fuck that one. I thought you were more of a one shot kill chick. This fucking hurts. Ah. I thought I would feel better, but I don't. This, this doesn't change anything. I mean, so he's dead. He deserved it, and he's dead. But so what? Well, he was on your list. Plenty of people on my list. And each time I cross a name off the list, I, I feel the same. What if I've been fooling myself? Wait, Luan, wait. I... Rest in peace, Hakon. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. What about Hakon? There was no saving him, Frank. I see. Come to the canteen, Aiden. We'll talk. I've got some news for you.
and I both did. But she wouldn't listen. Huh? I see. There's a little less hope in the world, Aiden. Not just for her, but for all of us. <laughs> Hakon, you bastard. I'm this close to drinking again because of you for all the good times and bad. But I'm not going backwards. I'm not gonna fall down that hole again. Yeah. Sleep well, friend. I've contacted some of the Night Runners, Aiden. Those who are still alive. Killian should be here anytime soon. But Killian from Old Villador? Same one. Speaking of Old Villador, you have to get to the Bazaar, Aiden. She's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who? The GRE doctor Waltz is probably after. When you mentioned the Bazaar, I was able to get in touch with her. She can help you find Mir. Her name is Veronica Ryan. I remember her. She's one of the first people I met after I came to the city. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck, Aiden, with everything. Go. Looking sharp, Aiden. She's still seeing that. Good seeing you.
to know they had sheer What if he doesn't want to sell that? Oh, Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in Old Villador. At first, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End, Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. Frank's calling for the return of the Night Runners. I wonder what will come of it. Gave you money to buy water, and what did you do? Well, the card was good for me. How should I do this, Gavers? Can you hear yourself at all? Maybe Fuck me. People will always complain.
a biomarker <coughs> for sages. Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? Ah, shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh. I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Frank told me you worked for the Observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? Yeah, that's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. Oh, what? 
Activity among the PKs. Aiden, where are you? I'm near the dam. Meet me, and then we'll go to the observatory. That's the place you're looking for. But the observatory's soaked in chemicals. Find me in the two-story building squeezed between the dam and the promenade. It's you. I remember you from the bazaar. Yeah. 